Hello and welcome to October edition of Little Antique Me. I will be doing my Ariel tutorial for you. Um, Ariel is my absolute favorite princess. Uh, ever since I was little, I always pretended I was a mermaid and when I grew up, I went to Disneyland, or excuse me, Disney World and fell in love with the princesses and wanted to become a princess and be there. That didn't work out, but that's okay. A year ago, I actually got to be Ariel for a little girl's birthday and just the awe and wonder on her face totally made my day, my life, and all of it worth it. So today, I thought I would share with you my simple tips and tricks on becoming Ariel for Halloween. Here we go. First, we're gonna start with the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline in the color of porcelain. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to apply this. I like to get my beauty blender a little wet to apply. I don't like the really super full coverage. I just like a light coverage. Once I get that applied, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color Fair Light. And what this does is it just sets my foundation and gives it just a very nice, soft, natural look. Next, for my cheek color, I'm going to use Tarte in the color of Party. It is a 12-hour blush. It's very high pigmented, which is great, so you can add as much or as little as you'd like. I'm going to give it a little more of a blush because Ariel has those nice rosy cheeks. Next, I'm going to use my Essence Eyeshadow and Primer. And I'm going just to apply this with my finger. I got a little much. Apply this with my finger all over my eyelid and underneath my eyebrow. After that, we're going to use Essence The Velvet in Fluffy Clouds. And I'm going to apply this just into the corner of my eyes and underneath my eyebrow to accent or to accentuate the brow bone and the inner eye. Gives it, nice, gives it a nice shimmer. Next, I'm gonna use my Happy Birthday palette from, that I got from Ulta. I'm gonna use the very light color on the far side there. The only reason I'm gonna use this one really is just to add just a little bit of color. I'm gonna keep the eyes very, very basic for our first look. So I'm basically just applying this into the crease and a little bit onto the um, side to the middle of my eyelid. Next for my brows, I'm going to use my Catwoman set and I'm going to use the color on the prowl, which is that dark red, and my corner brush and I'm going to just basically line my brows with it. I just had my eyebrows colored so it turns out a little dark, but you can kind of get the idea. Next I'm going to use my Duo Eyelash Glue and my Kiss Natural Eyelashes. I'm going to apply those off camera and then use my Ciotti Fierce Flix Eyeliner. I'm going to keep it pretty close to the actual lashes. I'm not going to do anything too exaggerated or extreme for uh, our aerial eyeliner. Mainly just to accent and blend in those eyelashes. Okay, next I'm going to use my Essence The False Lashes Mascara in Extreme Volume and Curl. I love this because it gives you a very full and dramatic effect without really having to have false lashes. I wear this on a normal day-to-day -day basis and it gives me very full, 
very curly lashes. Now we're gonna move on to lips. I'm gonna use my Lip Sense in Pink Champagne, which is really hard to see on this little tiny bottle. But I've recently started using this lip gloss, or lipstick, I'm sorry, and absolutely love that it stays on my lips all day long and I can eat, I can do whatever I need to and not have to worry about reapplying or leaving residue on stuff. Let that dry all the way, I applied three coats and then finished it off with their gloss. Next, we're going to move on to the fun part. Oh, look, see, nothing on there. We're gonna move on to our wig. It's Ferrari by Arda Wigs in the color Candy Apple. Uh, it has a fabulous little clip in the back that holds it nice and snug to my head. It's a great fit, I love this wig. I actually edited the bangs just a little bit since I wanted the aerial bangs to be more swoopy. So I trimmed them a little just to kind of give it that look. Oh, wait a minute. We need a dingle hopper, of course, to fix the hair. <laughs> but in reality, I'm going to use my Denman brush to smooth out any stray ends, keep the curls nice and formed. I love these wigs because I can heat style them uh, very gently. I can't use like high heat. And here is our first look full princess. I actually wore this one to that little girl's birthday party. Next we have a pinup aerial. I added my high-waisted shorts, my little shirt tied, and a hair bow. Next I'm going to add some purple eyeshadow just to my crease and a little bit on my lid. And I also added my Fly Girl Lip Sense color to my lips. I'm going to add my flannel with flounder and then also pin back the two side sections just using basic bobby pins. And then add my purple aerial bow. And one last thing, for my hipster aerial look I will add my glasses. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope these inspired you for your looks this Halloween. Um, if you use any of these looks, please tell me. I would love to see or send me pictures on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see what you come up with. Also, what are you gonna be for Halloween? Leave them below. I would love to hear what you guys are gonna be. And that is it. Flounder and I are off to go have fun. So I will see you guys next week. I hope you all have a wonderful day and may God bless and keep you this week and I will see you next time. Bye!